the Lienzo of Telex Telexcala circa 1585. Whereas Europeans wrote many volumes about their colonial conquests in the Americas, few indigenous communities had the opportunity to record their own accounts. Still, by far the most extensive indigenous documentation was composed by sedentary societies in Mesoamerica where centuries of writing and other forms of record keeping long predated European contact. Only a handful of such documents have survived. Each conveys a highly localized point of view. Since indigenous peoples of the Americas neither shared a common sense of cultural or political identity, nor did they experience colonial invasions in the same way or at the same time, this reality reflects the true complexity of European expansion, as well as the fact that there is no single indigenous version of history. One such version is the late 16th century Lienzo of Tuxcala, a pictorial account of the Spanish conquest from the perspective of the Tlaxcaltecas from modern day central Mexico, indigenous political elites and artists from the Altapitel city state of Tlaxcala produced this painting on cloth, somewhat similar to a European tapestry many years after the events in order to portray themselves as faithful and indispensable allies of the Spaniards, as well as good Christians. Notably, these images neglect to mention of the Tlaxcaltecas' own battles against the Spaniards in 1519. In reality, it was only after first waging fierce war did the Tlaxcaltecas eventually decide to negotiate with Spaniards rather than continue to fight them. In doing so, they helped, hoped to build an alliance with these powerful outsiders rather than risk a costly defeat at their hands. These events and their political motivation are erased through the Lienzo, which focuses exclusively on how the Telex Caltecas went everywhere with conquistador Hernan Cortez, his indigenous translator, Valenche, and other Spaniards to carry out the conquest of New Spain. The Telexcaltecas. Caltech, I'm sorry if I mispronounce these. The Tilex Caltecas themselves carefully constructed and cultivated the myth of their immediate alliance with the Spaniards. The following scenes from the Lienzo of Tilex Cala depict an amicable peace between the Tilex Cala and Cortez, followed by the Tilex Calteca warriors repeatedly le leading the attack on numerous other indigenous communities. Thus, according to the Lienzo, the Telex Caltecas appeared to argue that they had never fought Cortez and, as a consequence, had never been conquered. Instead, they claimed to have provided invaluable assistance from the beginning. As such, they portray themselves as conquistadors in their own right, and therefore worthy of privileges from Span the Spanish crown. Such royal rewards would eventually include tax exemptions, protection from Spanish settlements on their lands, and the right to carry Spanish weapons and ride horses. In the long run, however, it would take, a co take continuous lawsuits and petitioning to the crown throughout the entire colonial period for the Telex Caltecas to actually preserve and enjoy these privileges up through the 1820s. To these ends, a copy of the Alianza was sent to the Spanish Viceroy, the official representative of the king in Mexico City, while the original was displayed conspicuously in the chambers of the indigenous run Cal Calbido City Council. After the fall of the Mexican Tenochtitlan 
a traditional enemy of the text Cala, the Spanish conquest spread quickly from central Mexico into the rest of North America. Continent encountering prolonged resistance only to the far north and south. Spaniards mo used multiple Mesoamerican allies to continue these conquests and then relied on them as settlers and intermediaries. In many of their newly created colonies, for example, three-fourths of Francesco Vasquez de Coronado's failed ex exp expedition into New Mexico, 1540 to 1542, were the Telex-Calteca Indios Amigos, approximately 1,300 war warriors to 2,000 warriors. Five decades later, Juan de Ornate and 117 Spaniards would finally conquer New Mexico in 1598, thanks to the 283 Telex Calteca allies who accompanied them. As a result, Telex Caltecas were among the original founders of the Hispanic city of Santa Fe, New Mexico in 1610. Here's the image. The four Telaco key or lords of the Telex Cala dutifully reserve, received the Catholic sacrament of commune, communion in 1519. The four lords represent the four districts of the complex Altapitel of Telex Cala, Cortez, and Malenchi also attend the ceremony. Here's a close-up of this. Image two, the same four lords offer Cortez an honorary headband, a sign of political authority as well as deer meat and birds with exquisite plumage once he and Malenchi are settled, seated as the new rulers of Mexico, Tenochtitlan, in 1521. Image three, the battle, the 1520 battle over Tipitz Zotalan, in the modern-day state of Mexico, is depicted as joint conquest by Telux Calteca, warriors and Spaniards, and New Haiti. The word tepostal refers to a little person, hence the depiction of a little person inside the local palace. <clears throat> Image four, his Nualti language translator Malenchi Cortez and the Tlantoni ruler of the Tlaxcala negotiate an alliance in which Spaniards receive gifts of food, including domesticated turkeys. These offerings or tributes symbolize their peace treaty established in 1519. Image five, in fi the final 1521 siege of the Mexico Tenochtitlan is shown here with the Telex Caltecas on the front line for the dangerous land invasion on the island's principal bridge. Here's a close up. Image six, the 1524 conquest of the Mayan city of Quetzaltenango located in modern-day Guatemala, appears towards the end of the Lienzo of Tlaxcala, at which point the battle scenes tend to contain more Tlaxcalteca warriors and fewer Spaniards. This will be the end of this, of the uh, Lienzo. I'm so sorry. Lienzo of Tlaxcala. Thank you.